Frugal Force. Once again, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty. And today I'm going to be reviewing this, this HDMI 2.0 Switch 7x1. And before I do, if you want to help me out in supporting this channel, I greatly appreciate it. Some of the best ways you can help us is just hitting like, subscribe, and hitting that notifications bell. That helps us support this by getting more views, more attention to the videos. And, you know, it helps in multiple different ways. The more people can get enjoying these and, and getting benefit from them and sharing their thoughts, the better off we are. If you feel yourself in a good position to help financially, we have a Patreon, too, where you can help us for as little as a dollar a month. We also, I believe, have a $2 tier and a $5 tier where we do special Frugal Force videos on occasion as well as random Frugal Force giveaways where we just give something away. Uh, currently, we have some really great stuff. We have some jawbreakers we plan on giving away, uh, some cyber frog and all kinds of Alterna and other stuff. Absolutely wonderful books and things like that that we just randomly give away and once in a while a game or something too. Um, so that's one way. But if you don't like Patreon, there is also a link below for a one-time donation if you want, or you can donate as many times as you want, but each time is one. It's not a monthly thing with the Streamlabs OBS link. Just click on that. Or we even have Redbubble where we have merch where you can buy yourself a shirt, a hat, a clock, or anything to help support the channel. I put the prices as low as they allow, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken there. So low as they allow. Um, and if also, if you know of any other alternative ways that somebody can, like uh, to Patreon, like Kofi or something that you think might be good for this channel, let us know, because we are looking for alternatives to Patreon, because we're not 100% happy with them, as well as a lot of our supporters have voiced that. So anyway, back to this, the switcher. I got this because I have, uh, in my office, I do the videos, and, and, and I also, it's my office slash playroom for the kids and I. We have two TVs here, and each one is loaded with a lot of game systems set up. And on this particular TV, I have seven different systems. And what I do is I just have all had all the cables twist tied together, each one marked with tape with an indicator of what system it was for. And it worked okay, but as I got up to seven systems hooked on this TV, it just became too cumbersome and hard to keep track of all those cords back there and not have a mess. So I got this, this HDMI 2.0 HDMI switcher. And... Here we go there, some information on there, HDMI. And this is very important. I wanted to make sure that it was 4K compatible and all because we do have a PlayStation 4 hooked up to this. So some, we want to make sure it supports next-gen system. So on the back of the box there, it says Xbox 360. Set-top boxes, it works with PS3. It works with a Blu-ray player. Now, PS3, you have to be careful because... Uh, remember they had like blocks and things like that so you can only like, run it to a TV you couldn't record and that's why I use a splitter that decodes that but I have no issue with that with decoding I don't think this decodes though so it had to be hooked right to the TV I'm pretty sure in that case uh, but mine hooks to the splitter box which splits it runs it to the TV and decodes it PC set top boxes DVD players here's a picture of the front side okay. as you see that's got these lights on the front It'll tell you if it's powered up and there's a button here too and every time you hit that button it switches to which channel it's on so which HDMI device you're using it'll do that on top of that see there it does take a power supply and the power supply is decent length that runs from my desk to the floor so it's long enough I wish it was about a foot longer uh, and it comes with a remote control so let me grab that real quick this is what the remote control looks like it's very simplistic pretty much a power button and then you can switch to which HDMI port you're using. So it's like you're using whatever it is hooked up on HDMI port 3, just hit 3, and problem is solved. Now just for a record here, it gives some more information and details right here that it supports 3D. HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2 supports HDR, supports 7 ways VHD input one-way VHD output. So in other words, all of them go to, out to one HDMI output source. Supports three times GPS data rate for TMD clock up to 600 megahertz. Supports highest video resolution 4K at 60 hertz. I know you can get higher than 4K now, but this TV won't go any higher than that. So at this, for this device, it works perfect. Support input up to eight meters. And then it gives information standard cable links. Supports up to three meters of HDMI 2.0, standard cable length. Supports single high definition display of multiple sources such as DVD players and HD players, PS4, and set top boxes. And uh, it says needs DC 5 volt slash one amp power supply, which it comes with once again. Now I've already hooked it up, but just so you know, it's packaged well. See this slides off. It's in a nice box, it opens up. Then all your materials would be in here. I already, as I said, I've already taken it all apart. 
and done that because I want to show you that. I wanted to test it extensively before I did this video. So I got into it right away. I have to admit, I was really wanting to get into doing this video as soon as possible so I can get a lot of use out of it and test it a lot and see if it really did what it was claiming to do. So anyway, let me screen down here with the camera here. <laughs> Go up there so you can see how this is used. So there it is. I've hooked it up now. It's not the best hookup situation there. I'm going to be rehooking it later on. Uh, but here's the unit right here. Okay. And you can see that. And so when you go to use a particular unit there, it's got the power light on. I don't know if you can see it. It's a red power light on. Let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. See, there's the power light on there. I have it hooked up this way just so I can get to the back of it if I need to release and switch. But I think I'm going to move it to the other side because I've got all these ran through my HDMI splitter. And so let me back up there. See it? So there's the HDMI splitter right there. So that way I can then record anything because it goes to my Elgato there. So it makes everything a snap to record. All I have to do is go, okay, hit the channel button, boop. There's that one or one, it goes to channel one. As you see, let me zoom in here. There we go. You can see channel one's lit up right now with a blue light. So if I go to channel two, it's gonna switch to channel two. So here we go. I switched back to one, let's go to four. And let's see here. There we go, yep, it's on channel four. It's a little hard to see with the light, I think, but yeah. <laughs> five, six, seven. So that's all it has to do is you hit the any button there and it goes real easy to it and zooms uh, right, right to that button for whatever one it is on. So once again, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. See, there's that blue light. Let me clear it up here with the focus. Come on, focus. Okay, the focus is not wanting to work. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. So see, that's the kind of blue light you're gonna get. Now, did it degrade the picture or anything? I A-B tested it. I tested it with the uh, recording with it, and I recorded without it and did A-B test. I, my eyes can't tell a single bit of difference. I think the transfer quality is absolutely spectacular. So here's the front. You can also, instead of using the remote, you can just, I'm gonna zoom out here a little bit. Okay, there's just a switch button right here. You can use this button to change the channels and just goes and cycles through them, okay? <coughs> Excuse me for that. So you could cycle through the channels with the button or with the remote. You have your choice. You don't have to use the remote. The power supply for that hooks right back to here, the very back corner of the unit on the back side. That's one thing. I wish it was on the left side. It would work my system, but hey, because then it's just a little bit shorter than when I need it. The cord is plenty fine length though. It does what I want it to do. And all the HDMI ones plug into the back, making it incredibly easy, gets rid of all the mess that I had to deal with. All right, so ultimately, there it is. That's what we have here. The HDMI 2.0 HDMI splitter seven times one. And boom, there it is. I think it was a good deal for the price. Uh, considering these can be expensive, this wasn't a real expensive one. So, but it does the job and it does it fantastically. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep fooling. Thanks for sticking with me through this. If you don't mind and you enjoy videos like this, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe. And even bigger, hit that notifications bell because evidently that means a lot. Also, if you find yourself in the position that you can help the channel and you want to, you say, hey, I like this stuff. If you don't mind, go down to the info bar down below. We have a link for our Patreon, which you can join our Patreon for as little as $1 a month, which gets you special posts that are only for the patrons. So sometimes I do Frugal Force videos that are patron only or special versions of videos. I also do random Frugal Force giveaways where I just take a random person out of there with a random number generator that selects who it is and I send them stuff, whether it be games or comic books or both, whoever knows. And sometimes they even just ask you guys questions or shoot up a message. I greatly appreciate you checking those out. Also, if you find that maybe that's not for you, you don't like Patreon, we have it in the info bar as well a Streamlabs link there where you can click on that and just give a one-time donation. And that helps the channel. All those proceeds are going right back into the channel to help Little Frugal and I and his sister, the American Dream, my wonderful little girl, <laughs> and our family continue to have fun doing this and sharing this with you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you for all the ones who have stuck it out with me this long and all the new ones that have joined on, too. Thank you. We greatly appreciate it. And don't be afraid to leave a message in the comments section, too. We love to read them. All right, thanks, and until next time, keep it frugal.